Hi, this is Brad Linder from Lilliputing, and today we're going to unbox the ASUS EPC T91, which is the first convertible touchscreen tablet from the company. First thing we have is a very small case. As it's quite thin as far as EPC boxes go, and it has a couple of pictures of uh, not just the computer itself, but some uh, pictures of the interface. ASUS actually developed a uh, special interface to uh, take advantage of the touchscreen display here. So let's go ahead and open up the case and see what's inside. First, we have a warranty card case, which is a little bit different from the usual case that you get from uh, Asus. Uh, let's see if I have one handy to show you the difference. Normally you get something like a, a zippered case here. In this case, it's got a little Velcro strap. And in this particular instance, and this might not be how yours comes, this is a demo unit, the netbook itself is right there inside the case. Let's take a quick look and see what else is in the box. They shipped a 16GB uh, SD card, again, I don't know if that's standard or just for the demo unit. Software, a user manual, and then a power cable. And that's pretty much it. So let's take a quick look at the T91. Again, this is my first look at the device. Got a couple of tabs around here and some plastic over the top. The uh, netbook itself has an 8.9-inch touchscreen display and a pretty small keyboard that is actually uh, quite reminiscent of the original EPC 701 keyboard. Uh, this netbook itself is actually a little bit smaller, thinner, and lighter than the original EPC 701, which had a 7-inch display. And uh, the original version is actually shipped with just 4 gigabytes of memory. This, this actually has significantly more than that. This also has a 5-hour battery, which is much better than the 2 to 3 hours of battery life that you get out of the uh, 701. But it does have a solid-state storage system. And it has the ability to swivel and be used as just a tablet. Let's swivel it back for a second here. See if we can take off this uh, shiny plastic. There we go. That was actually just around the border. So the screen itself, you can see, is pretty shiny. And you can say hi. And uh, we've got a power button here. Uh, some sort of touch screen button there. Might have something to do with screen rotation. We'll know that more about that later. The uh, touchpad itself is relatively wide considering the small size of the netbook. Single uh, button. This is a button that's similar to um, the one that you would find on the uh, EPC 1002HA or one, uh, S101. So it's uh, sort of one long button with a rocker in the middle so you can do left and right clicks. On the side of the device here we've got uh, MMC SD SDHC card slot. There's another SD card slot here on the front. There's a stylus that you can remove for interacting with the touch screen. Oh, and that actually slides nicely into place. It's, like it's spring-loaded or something. And on this side we have a headphone, a microphone, a USB port, and a Looks like a button over here, but it doesn't actually do anything. And Ethernet. So all told, it looks like there's uh, just two USB ports on this device. The uh, VGA port is actually on the back of the unit, which is a little bit unusual for an ASUS netbook. That means that the uh, battery is flush inside the unit, which means it's going to be hard to get an extended battery for this model. Um, there is an access panel here, which I'm going to assume for now is for upgrading the RAM. So it's nice to know that it should be relatively simple to do that. Um, just to do a little size comparison here, I have an EPC 1000H, and you can see how much smaller 
the new model is. And also you might want to get a look at the two keyboards side by side because um, even though the uh, 1000H does not have one of the newer keyboards, it still has the shift key small to the uh, top of the uh, right key here. It's got much larger keys and uh, seems like it's going to be easier to type on. Although you can probably get used to typing on this one relatively quickly. I didn't have too many problem problems using the 701 keyboard, but the main the main distinguishing feature here is obviously the touchscreen display. So there you go. That was the unboxing and first look.